some Halloween displays, so realistic police have been called several times. Stephen Novak from Dallas had police turn up at his house numerous times after they received concern complaints from local residents who thought the horrific scene was real. A man's extremely gory Halloween massacre scene is so realistic that passers-by called the police. Stephen Novak, an artist from Dallas, Texas, started decorating the outside of his home about six years ago at the request of his neighbors. The decorations started off with ghosts and fog machines. But over the years, they evolved into the hyper real scene it is today, reporters say. Standing across his front garden, the terrifyingly realistic dummies covered in blood. It's being positioned to look as though they've suffered a horrifying attack. One dummy's head was caved in, while another has a chainsaw sticking out of it, and a third is wrapped in bin bags and tape. But the wheelbarrow filled with discarded limbs and blood is what he's most proud of. Stephen makes all of the props himself and it can get a little pricey, especially because of all the fake blood he uses. If it rains overnight, he has to reapply it every morning. For the most part, his neighbors and passers-by enjoy the display. But there have been some complaints. He told reporters, Officers had arrived outside my house several times, but I was only in twice. They told me they thought the display was cool. I've always been up for hijinks like flying goats or seven foot tall snow sculptures of myself. So if I was gonna do Halloween, it was obvious that it should be proper real. Something that would really freak people out walking by in the dark. So I whipped up some dummies and slung 20 gallons of blood all over them. So far, despite the complaint, Stephen isn't deterred from constructing another scene next year. Stephen said, Honestly though, I think I could have used some more. My plans were way worse on paper. Next year though, Whoa!